Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, your host. And today we're going to talk about self-mastery. Awareness becomes aware of itself. When we begin to reach the higher level of consciousness and we wake up from the, the dream, a self-awakening mechanism is activated. And what happens is that we appear to wake up and become aware of a secondary reality that exists and it's parallel to the reality that we've been living in. And the ordinary reality that most human beings live in, it's programmed completely, it's robotic, and it's kind of like being in this hypnotism, like you're hypnotized. And from the time you were born, again, depending where you were born, your family, your education, your class, uh, social class, um, the environment, the country, the culture, everything, it forms your psyche and brainwashes you and puts these imprints of a certain way of looking at life. So you have a, it's kind of like um, your perspective is definitely tainted and it's uh, very narrow and, and you begin to follow what this program. And so let's say overall, like if we look back at the past few hundred years uh, until recently, that something is shifting and the culture, uh, the society starts to change. Things are changing because of the information uh, is available to us. Uh, but prior to maybe last 30, 40 years, um, the deal is like, okay, you go to school, you go to college, or if you can, and then you're supposed to get married, and you're having children, and uh, you're working, uh, or you're raising your kids, and then you retire, and you have some retirement time and then you die. I mean, this is the program. And if you are kind of, if you're living outside of this program, then uh, you are not normal. There's something wrong with you. So this has been the rhythm, and everybody pretty much follows the same thing because it's the norm. This is what you're supposed to be doing, and this is what's happening. So it's kind of a robotic thing, but you don't even know why you're doing it. But then it comes to a point that you begin the self-awakening uh, happens, and you start to wake up. And as you're waking up and enter into, let's say, the spiritual world, and you're becoming self-aware, and the questions come, like, who am I? Uh, why am I here on this planet? What's the purpose of living this life? And where am I going to go after I die? What is after death? And so on and so forth. These questions begin to rise. And as you go deeper into the rabbit hole, then your awareness starts to expand. Your your point of view changes. You start looking at life uh, from a broader perspective. And in this transition, as this is happening, uh, what happens is your, your awareness starts to increase. When you get to the higher levels of consciousness, awareness, you have a much broader and uh, expanded awareness you begin to realize that everything is consciousness. 
everything is the spirit. Everything is God. The good, the bad, the ugly, it's all a part of the consciousness. And you begin to realize that nothing exists outside of consciousness. Consciousness is the only thing that there is. So, you realize that. And prior to that, maybe somebody's telling you, or you read about it somewhere, but now you begin to realize it for yourself. You, you begin to see it that way, because you have become a lot more expanded. You have come from this really conditioned way of thinking. You have opened up and you're available and you are not looking at things from your bias point of view from your the way you've been programmed to look at stuff and you question things and a part of this process of awakening and this expansion which is happening for you is you begin to self observe and you may be taking some self-awakening um, books. You, maybe you went to your, a psychiatrist or a psychologist or you find some teachers. You're going into the spiritual market. You start shopping around, checking different things. Uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, Kabbalah, Sufism. You're checking things out and seeing what's going on. And some of the information comes to you and some of the books, workshops, teachers that you encounter, they are uh, doing self-observation. And uh, so you begin to look at yourself and you're looking at your own behaviors and becoming aware. And if you're really sincere and you're really on it and you're really investigating, uh, you do the self-awakening work. You start to look at yourself. And it's very, very scary to do that because we're pretty much in a culture generally that likes to point fingers at other people. And, and we keep other people responsible and uh, it's their fault, or it's the government's fault, or if it's the corporation, evil corporation's fault for doing something, or somebody else betrayed you, and they screwed you over, and they lied to you, or they stole from you, or whatever they've done to you. It's always pointing finger at other people. So, and it's very difficult and scary to really turn around and look at yourself and, and self-observe and see what's going on, what kind of screwed up patterns I have inside myself. What is it that I keep repeating uh, and I don't want to look at and I'm pointing finger at my partner or my parents or my kids that it's their fault and they've done something wrong to me rather than I start looking at myself. And that is where awareness become, starts to become aware of itself. And uh, let me elaborate on that one too. In the uh, very as basic form or state of being. The awareness is the consciousness, uh, spirit, God. Again, I'm throwing different names to see what works for you. Is not aware of itself. It simply is.